focus on the breath. Try to hang on to the breath. Things outside are going to change. There'll be noises coming and not only things outside, there'll be thoughts coming up in the mind. Change is normal. What you want to do is find a place where you're not affected by the change. So you have your own sense of well-being that comes from within. Because otherwise, if your well-being, if your happiness depends on things outside, you're going to be running around after things outside, going up when they go up, going down when they go down. And it's the way of the world. There's gain and there's loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. These things spin around in circles. And if you're trying to get the ring on the carousel, you go spinning around in circles as well. You've got to realize okay, you don't need things outside to be happy. You need only certain qualities of the mind inside. You develop those, and then no matter what things are like outside, the mind can still have a sense of well-being. So focus on this as your top priority. This is where you're really going to focus your efforts to find a happiness that lasts, a happiness that you can be proud of without causing any trouble. Most of the happiness in the world outside, if you've got something, you're proud of that, okay, you're setting yourself up for a fall. But the happiness that comes from inside, the reason you can be proud of it is that it doesn't harm anybody. It comes from developing good qualities of the mind, qualities that you've developed. And you look around, you're not leaning on anybody else. You're not placing a burden on anyone else. When you can find that kind of happiness, okay, then there's a sense of self-esteem that comes. And that kind of self-esteem is not dangerous. That's what keeps you on the path. So you don't slip off to your old ways, because the mind is constantly hungry, and if it's not well fed inside, it's going to go looking outside. So if you do mind well in here, and as I said last night, try to train your hunger so you get a sense of what really would be satisfying, what really is worth your effort. So that your, your notion of what it means to be happy grows higher and more refined more spacious and also less burdensome. It spreads out as it lightens its imprint on the world. That's when you can really trust yourself. And the spinning of the world doesn't make you go spinning around after it. It's a good happiness to have.